Welcome to In Case You Missed It, or ICYMI, where we share announcements and cool stuff that may have flown under the radar for OutSystems developers everywhere. Let's jump right in with the updates for June 2021. Kicking things off this month is the news that registration is now open for the upcoming OutSystems Developer Conference. We'll have a wide range of talks for developers across three regions over two days this November. See the link in the description below for more information and register today. Next up, the product updates for June, starting with a new set of flows for Experience Builder. Experience Builder helps you create great apps faster through the availability of commonly used interaction patterns. Users of Experience Builder already had access to flows for registration and authentication, but with the latest announcement, users can also leverage flows for credential recovery, including forgotten passwords, passcodes, and usernames. Click the link below to learn more. Need an easier way to create map-based interfaces in your apps? Check out the newly released OutSystems Maps component. It's a supported component and you can test it with the sample application and check out the documentation as well. We'll include links for all these in the description below. One of the pleasures of being a developer advocate at OutSystems is our MVP community and their passion for sharing information. One example this month is a guest post by MVP Craig St. Jane on the OutSystems blog entitled How to Deal with Complex Data Structures. In the post, Craig highlights two scenarios for handling data structures that are more complex than average. Check the link below for the full post. For those who have not yet adopted the platform, OutSystems provides an evaluation guide to help answer questions about what's possible and supported with the platform. It can also be useful to help answer questions even for those who are already getting started with the platform. This month, I wanted to call out a couple of sections of the guide that provide information related to application security. Specifically, the topics Security of OutSystems Applications and How Can I Create Secure Mobile Apps. These articles provide a combination of platform capabilities and best practice recommendations that are useful for anyone looking to bolster their app security on the OutSystems platform. And be sure to check out the rest of the evaluation guide too. It's searchable, so you may want to bookmark it for future reference. We'll have all the links in the description below. It wouldn't be in case you missed it without a rundown of what's new and interesting in the Forge. So without further ado, here's Christiana. Okay, so another month, another run through the Forge components newsworthy for the month of June. Let's start with the new supported component that is the Dynamic Links plugin that uses the Firebase service that is called Dynamic Links. And this is basically deep links on steroids and it enables you to, well, not get tired of all the deep linking confusion that exists in, in mobile apps. Uh, so if you want to open a link, you can use one link to open it on iOS, Android, and even in a website and it helps you a lot more than this so make sure to take a look next we have the html utils that is now a trusted component and this is one of those components that you probably are already using you can now use it with a improved version, a trusted version. And for the ones that don't know what this component does, it can help you with HTML strings. So for example, if you want to remove all the HTML tags from a string, you can do this very quickly with the component. Or if you want to trim a string for a given length, you can use this and it will close all the HTML tags correctly and a lot more things to do. Next, we have the epoch date time conversions. And this component, lets you convert from epoch format, the Unix timestamp format, to daytime, the ones that is human readable and vice versa. So it's a simple one and it's now a trusted component. Moving on to other components created in June, we have a set of three components that wrap web APIs so it can so they can be used in your OutSystems applications. And those are the IndexedDB one, the Beacon one, and the Broadcast Channel one. So these are all web APIs that are available for you via the browser and you can use now with these OutSystems Forge components. Next, we have the object diff, which lets you um, compare objects and this can be a record in a database and then have an output that is human readable. So it can be really cool if you need to, for example, uh, have a, a human readable way of viewing logs of an application. It can be a use case for you. So you have a page where there's a human readable part of logs where you know that this name changed from this to that and well it's e easier to analyze then we have the reactive sidebar overlay component which is an extension of the standard sidebar that comes with the OutSystems UI framework and it gives you a, a little bit more functionality than the standard one for, so for example if you want to click outside of the bar 
or use the escape key to close the sidebar, you, you can use this component. Or if you want to have not one, but two sidebars, you can also use this component. So thank you to everyone that keeps creating and supporting Forge components. This was for the month of June. Thank you and see you in the next one. And that's a wrap for this month's In Case You Missed It. What was your favorite announcement? Let us know in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you can be among the first to hear about next month's episode. We'll see you then. Bye.